Ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Detective Simpastato here, and today I'm bringing you with what I would like to call a, not a brand new fan game, but it's a quite old one, four years old to be exact. It's a Pokemon fan game, and it takes place as well, with detectives. It's a story focused detective game with only maybe about 40, 60 hours, but it's really story driven, something different. And yes, I'm gonna be talking like this the whole time. I know, detectives probably don't really talk like this, but I don't really know how detectives talk, my nigga. I, I, bitch, I sound like a whole mobster, if anything. But let's see, maybe I'll find my detective voice somewhere around this entire series because I'm gonna be talking like this the entire series. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoy. If you wanna play it for yourselves, link will be in the description below for you all. This game, it has a lot of shit with it. Crazy story, uh, difficult, uh, and you know, I got this crazy thing coming up for being a detective soon, so this is good, like, you know, good practice. So I hope you guys enjoy. Anybody watching, please forgive me. Let's get in this bitch. My name is Sylvester. Detective Sylvester, that is. A lot of neat, what the fuck is going on with that nose pass? That nigga tripping. Was that his big ass nose that did that hole in the bottom of the thing right there? Well, anyways, I was once a detective for uh, Riverview City until recently. You know, I had to go private. Nigga, if anything, oh, damn, never mind. Are you sure about this seal? Of course, bro. Certain. There's no turning back once you do. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> the chief not supposed to be talking like the detective, nigga. Hold up, my fault. <laughs> Anyways, there's no turning back once you do. I just feel like there's so much where, I, you know, I just feel like there's so much more that I could be doing, man. That I'm not really uh, so much as a help since I'm restricted by red tape and the bureaucracy. The stakes are much higher, and you know what? I'm I'm glad that you said that big ass word bureaucracy, that well. I'm I'm so I'm proud of you. Thanks, Chief. You know, a lot of things can be said, but the rewards that come with this mission—it's crazy. And what the fuck is going on with the music? Crazy as hell. You guys probably can't hear me with this like raspy detective voice, but one thing private detectives do is monologue. It's harder than it seems. I know you're supposed to cover the obvious, but I always run out of things to say. I never really know what to say either. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Look at the nice little storm. Nice. Oh shit, crazy ass Delabird. This is a cold city though, man. What can I say? And I don't mean just the climate. It's a cold, cold city. This damn Delabird. <clears throat> Guess you just really want to come with me, huh? Oh shit, just like that, we just got ourselves a dollar bird. Hey, easy peasy. Atta girl, or atta boy, my bad. I didn't see you there, mister. Uh, I'll call you Ock. Because your name is Deli Bird. You remind me of the local deli. And the Ock there is like really good. Really cool guy. Uh, I can't say Deli Bird is a Pokemon I've ever wanted to train, but I'll take good care of it. Nevertheless. It might be a cold city, but I try not to be a cold guy. I don't like being the cold guy, you know? I'm done being that cold person. And don't follow me too close now, you beat. God damn. <laughs> I can't say it's the same for everyone around in Riverview, though. But there are good people out there. Trust me, good people. I've met a couple, a few. But that sounds more hopeful than gritty. It's disgusting. Maybe I should have reversed the order of things, if anything. But I guess it doesn't matter. I can work on my own monologuing later. Once I've solved this latest crime. Okay, so I guess this is like the first case. Case number one. Safety first. Everybody, repeat after me. Safety first, niggas. Remember, you want to have the safety on... Oh, never mind. Ah, Detective Lafayette. That's me. 
Frail did you hear? <laughs> you understand the um, need for absolute discretion, right? Uh, sorry, nah. You know, long trip. It was cold as shit out there. I need you to give me a runner up. Uh, <clears throat> I know you used to work for the police. Ideally, the Riverview wouldn't like this news leaking out. I understand. My nigga really I don't, but I'm gonna act like we can act like we understand. Well, you know, it wouldn't do to have customers thinking criminals can break in here easily. Or at all, if matter, matter of fact, you know, I don't want my good name to be tarnished or anything like that. But the Riverview is more concerned about the check that was stolen from our safe. Then the, you know, criminal's identity. We really don't care about the criminal's identity, but please, track the money down, please. It's my, my job is at risk. I'll be in my office if you need to speak to me. Oh. <coughs> that nigga seemed really frazzled. For, he, that man's whole job is at risk, so... I guess losing nearly $10,000 overnight would do anything to any reasonable person. I don't know what the fuck I just said, but it's time to track down a thief. And I think I might have found the thief right over here. Never mind, but... Fuck, I can't do this voice for so long, man. Damn, we back. What's good, y'all? How y'all thought about the whole detective voice? I might switch it on and off every now and then. But, you know, like I said, it's something that I'm practicing. And I feel like it came out good. But, anyways, I've been doing a little bit of research on detectives. And, you know, you can't trust... You gotta listen to what these niggas be saying, bro. Like, this nigga right here, he says, you can't trust people with blue hair. And that's a guest. A guest said that. So you said, don't trust people with blue hair. This shit looks like a black guy that's wearing a fedora. I'm not gonna lie, but it's like two briefcase, bro. It looks like a black rich guy that's wearing a fedora, looking straight down, wearing a gray suit, but he got like a backpack on him or a suitcase behind him. And he got a beard too. I don't know. But what's good, ma'am? How you doing? I hear the manager of the whole <clears throat> I hear the manager of this whole tub collects souvenir spoons. What an odd hobby. Yeah, that's an odd hobby at as all Yeah, that does sound like an odd hobby, I'm not gonna lie. So manager collects souvenir spoons. And one guy says don't trust people with blue hair. I keep a note of that. Alright. This guy looks like he's a little frantic. What's going on with him? You shan't pass. I can't let you up here unless I know that you know about the thingy. I'll guard this staircase with my life. Seems like this guy takes his job way too serious. Yeah, that's a fact. Yo, man, don't quit your day job, man. I'm not suspicious. You're suspicious. What? Okay, so this chick, she immediately battles us off the rip. Challenged by Waitress Candace. Waitress Candace, what the fuck is good with you? Hold on, she gonna send out a Cherubi. Mm. She sends out a level 10 Cherubi. Level 10 Cher... Well, no, she sends out a level 14 Cherubi, bitch. I'm level 10. Uh, but we still go fast, though. And it's Frostbitten. Use his tackle. We're in the safe. Well, I'm not really too worried about no Cherubi right now because I'm able to easily get nice levels right off of these two right over here. Thank God this bitch knows Frost Breath. Ice Beam and Drill Pet. Jeez, nigga, it feels like I'm gonna go on and off this voice because I really am actually proud of myself about this voice, this little detective voice that I got going on right over here. Well, I'm actually trying to find my detective voice. They say I need to have like a calm, collective, authoritative demeanor. And we got this guy right over here who says technology is amazing. With online design programs, he can create his own ugly sweaters. Nice. I know a person that used to do ugly sweaters way back then, back in the days, somewhere around 2021, if anything. Uh, I'm not too sure what the manager got going on, but we're going to talk to him real quick, see what he has for us, what type of information he got going on for us. Ah, detective, uh, was there something you needed from me? Yeah, I need you to tell me what happened last night. Alright, well, for your efforts tonight, I gave one of the waitresses, well, for your efforts tonight, I mean, I gave one of the waitresses, no, I gave one of the waitresses, Kathy, the check. She left in the direction of my office. Mm hmm Oh, so she left to the direction of the office, Kathy, the one who tripped out. What's good? So let's see. Let's recount what happened this morning. So, let me see. Let's see. 17, 25, 30. 
Okay, so the safe password is 172530. I need to write this bitch down because I know my dumb ass ain't going to remember that. <laughs> the fuck? Hold on. 172530. 1725. Hey, I said 30. Let's go. I mean, I don't think that shit made any um any type of sense. But anyways, the manager says, what? How is this possible? The check is gone. What? Okay, so wait. The safe is right here, 172530. What did he put inside the safe? Let me see. Hotel's reputation real quick. The reputation is completely fine. It has a great, spectacular reputation if you're trying to tarnish anything about it. Plenty of tourists visit, and we're also known for the many local charities we sponsor. Now, there's a rehearsed line that I've ever heard, if I ever heard one. All right, so we got confirmation from this nigga right over here. Thank you, manager. I hope you didn't hear that nigga part, but anyways, but we got confirmation from him that Kathy, little waitress called Kathy, took the check, and the check went missing before he had put something inside the safe. 1725 a never mind we're not gonna do that but 172530 is the what's the pin y'all remember that all right let's go talk to kathy real quick maybe kathy has something for us kathy doll what's going on beautiful we got some money stolen okay so this bitch is definitely not kathy all right uh how do i get up there hmm wait a minute who's this what's good ma'am how you doing me and my family are visiting from a distant region there's nothing like here all right bet Nice, nice, nice. Visiting from a distant region. Cute. We got somebody over here under pressure walking around back and forth. Let's talk to this old sweet lady right here. Hello there. Something the matter? Seems as though I should be the one asking the questions. Ah, the hotel manager. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Where that voice came from? Anyways, ah, the hotel manager suggested I shouldn't bring it up. The robbery? Well, I'm here to investigate. Are you? Wonderful. Please find the missing money. As the victim, I hope in any way I could find the check. I'm afraid I didn't catch your name. Ah, I'm Mr. Paler Palermero. Palermo. Oh, Palermo. Oh, he runs the local Pokemon daycare. Nice. Mr. Palermo, that's what I'm going to call you. Uh, because Paler Palermo is a weird, weird name. Mr. Palermo, let me talk to you real quick. So, I heard something about a fundraiser going on. Tell me more about the fundraiser. Ah, yes. Well, we had a dinner at the hotel last night. All the ticket sales went towards, like, you know, funding the daycare. We represented the check on stage near the end of the diner. Oh, well, uh, well the dinner. <laughs> Sorry, choice of words. And then a waitress brought it to the, um, then a waitress brought it right back to the manager's office. The next morning, it was stolen. Hmm. It was stolen next morning. You know, the crazy question that I want to understand is why keep it in the hotel it was agreed upon <clears throat> it was agreed upon be beforehand the money would be safer in the hotel safe than it would be overnight at the daycare ruffians have been everywhere in the city lately or so it feels this morning the manager and I were supposed to take the check to the bank with a few guards okay they were supposed to take the check to the bank this morning with a few guards let's see let's see and then you know what mr palermo what's going on my brother daycare funding i'm new to all this what's going on over here with the, with the daycare plenty of trainers bring their pokemon to my daycare to be raised you know i came from kanto everything like that i run a good daycare and i know how to run a good daycare they're happy to they're happier in the open than they are in the pc and that's a fact for sure the Pokemon that is not the trainers we don't we don't capture the trainers this ain't no pal world uh, I also raise abandoned or orphan Pokemon and the uh, and the eggs trainers leave behind buying all that food and medicine isn't cheap nice nice buying all that food and medicine ain't cheap hmm. do you work alone he looks about old I don't think his li his wife probably is like you know with the fishes right now i don't mean no disrespect mr parlermo but what what's going on with the with the with the financials because you seem to be tripping a lot over this measly ass measly ass baby ten thousand dollars you run a daycare you should be making some good money off that daycare uh let me see there's also security to worry about what with those criminals especially well yeah you know what okay okay 
Uh, damn. Uh, nurse, ma'am, how are we doing? That man on the stage has been pacing all morning. I'm surprised that he hasn't worn a hole through the ground yet. He's been pacing all morning, has he? Hmm. Hmm. Why is he pacing, though? Well, I mean, to make to make it make sense, why is he pacing? Ten thousand dollars. That's a that's a lot of money. Ten thousand dollars just for a ruffian to get it. And well, let's say the case is that it is a ruffian that took that money. Who knows? We we don't know for sure. But he says ten thousand dollars was taken from him. So hmm, I wouldn't blame him for pa for pacing like that. But let's see, let's see. But we already got we got his testimony. Hmm. We just need to find Kathy. 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 Where's Kathy? I see two nurses right over here. Not nurses, but waitresses. Wait, hold on. Who's this? Ugh, what do you want? I'm a detective. Hired by the... Oh, you know, I'm gonna I'm cut the voice right now because, you know, the throat is a little parched. I'm a detective. Hired by the hotel to investigate last night's robbery. And? Bitch. Damn, bitch. Hold on. Can I have your name, please? Hold up. What's with that attitude? I'm just talking to you real quick. Oh, you're Kathy. That explains the attitude. Okay, okay. Quick with an attitude. Okay, very suspicious. Hmm. You know what? No more Mr. Nice Detective. We're gonna have to go to... I'm gonna have to bring my buddy out. My buddy, he comes from Florida. He's what we call an Orlando nigga. I gotta take a rest. You people are crazy out here. Uh, I'm gonna bring out Detective Nigga. Detective nigga, please take over for me. Appreciate you, brother. How's it going? Kathy, your name is. I've seen that you had a little attitude earlier. What's going on? Kathy, was it? Can't you see I'm busy here? Yeah, I can see that. But uh, you're busy doing what exactly? You just sitting, chilling, enjoying the goddamn view while everybody's telling me that you had the check. You had the check and you went over to a certain room. And I feel like you took that check to go on somewhere and try to run away with your boyfriend or something like that. Wait, she said some shit about some detective you are. Oh, wait. Some detective you are. Damn, she's talking shit about detective nigga. What? That's crazy. Who would do that? What does it look like I'm doing? Uh, hmm. She said, what does it look like I'm doing? Hmm. Uh, I'll get back to you on that, as a matter of fact. Damn, she... That sassiness is kind of... Like, I, I'm not sure if she's a baddie. Because if she was a baddie... Then I would have said that sassy, this is detective nigga thinking in his head, by the way, because this is story driven. But in my head, because if she was a baddie and she had said all that shit, I would have said, you know what? You right. Let me get back to you on that. But we're, we're talking detective shit. Real nigga. This is business, not personal. We'll say, bitch, you're just chilling here, avoiding work. Uh, Hello, I'm on break, dude. What waitress? So everybody else here is on break too? Oh wait, this could be the break room. Something tells me this isn't the, that isn't the case. Maybe I can get her to open up with some small talk. So, <coughs> so, <laughs> how about this winter? Oh no, that's a stupid line, bro. That feels like I'm trying to like flirt with her and try to get her to go back to a room with me. Uh, hmm. Nah, nah, nah. Intrusive thoughts. Chill. Uh, do you like working here? Teehee! I love working in this nasty hotel on the busy shift. It's just like totally my favorite thing. Oh, fucking hell. Damn. This bitch is. Geez, she's kind of creepy when she puts on uh, the peppy waitress act. Yeah, that's a fact. I imagine this hotel doesn't really get much excitement beyond, you know, last night happening and shit. You know, something about somebody stealing a check of $10,000, right? Oh, yep. You're the one who carried the check, though, to the office. Ain't that right? Mm hmm. Took it off the stage. I took it off stage to his office as agreed and watched him put it in the safe. It's weird. You watched him put it in the safe, but in the flashback, he was putting something else in the safe and then he got the notice that the check went missing. So you're lying to me. Somebody's lying to me. One of these niggas is lying for your efforts tonight. Okay. manager gave her the check just like she agreed she walks off off stage off camera i left took it to the office and put it where um and we put it in the safe together but the manager's right there how did y'all put it together afterwards i gotta go talk to the manager about this because this shit makes no sense hey no guests in the kitchen fuck my life 
Ma'am, I was, I was, I just wanted a little snack. You know, I smell some nice, good rotisserie chicken that had the nice little lemon pepper seasoning on that bitch. You know, y'all take y'all jobs a little too serious. I need, I think y'all need to lay off all that work. It depends on how much they getting paid though, because if they getting paid a real good amount of money, because I'm a detective, bitch, I'm getting paid about like 45 an hour, my nigga, especially on this case. Private detective, mind you. Wait, hold on. There's a new nigga over there, reading a whole book. I gotta go talk to this nigga real quick. Kind of suspicious. Yo, buddy, what's going on with you? Oh, shit. Do I even want to know what you're doing here? Mordecai? Bit, where Rigby? Hold up. Mordecai, what you doing over here? Can a guy get... <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. How does Mordecai talk? Ugh, dude. Can a guy just stay in a whole time and read a book, man? Since when can you read sideways, nigga? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> what? So you don't know anything about the robbery, huh, Sylvester? Oh, wait, no, Mordecai. I've run into Mordecai more than once in my investigations. The kid's a uh, the kid's a petty criminal and not very bright, but he knows things. What's this crackhead doing over here? Really, Sil? I'm not involved. I have a good reason to doubt that. I'm not going to lie. What the fuck is you even doing here? Why are you in... Why every time I got an investigation, you over here? Well, you're, your face is dumb. What? I just asked this bitch if he know anything about the robbery and he got in his feelings. Annoyance, recurring annoyance Mordecai. He gonna send out a bit called Snip Snaps. Who did Rigby? Snip Snaps, man. Get the fuck. Snip Snaps, no! Mordecai jumped in front of the attack. Kid! Come on, bruh. Don't do that again. You were gonna hurt Snip Snaps. Snip Snaps still got hurt, you dumb man. Ooh, Snip Snaps, chill. Woo, Snip Snaps, relax, Snip Snaps. Snip Snaps was about to kill my dumb ass. I'm an ice rock type bitch. I mean, ice flying type bitch. This nigga was really gonna destroy me. Second move, boy, hold up. Couldn't win because, whoa, no, this kid's dangerous, my nigga. All right, Mordecai, what the hell you got for us, man? What, what's good? What's good? Well, you know, I just realized something. This nigga, Mordecai, his hair is blue. I mean, well, the nurse's hair is blue, too. Well, no, her hair is black. This nigga's hair is blue. And remember, somebody earlier told me, oh, wow, you see, I be forgetting shit quick. They said don't trust these blue hair niggas, bro. And that's what happens when you trust them. They fight your ass right there. Hmm. So he said he has information. What do you know? Why are you here, nigga? Why the fuck is you here? Winter's harsh, Sylvester. Cut me some slack, man. I just want to pay my heating bill. Fuck. If I hadn't heard a sob story from you every time I ran afoul of the police, I would believe that. Almost. Hey. Anyways. Alright, anyways. Uh, little little homie, what you know about the Riverview Hotel? Why are you even here? The manager has encountered some trouble with, with well, you know. He's referring to the Leonardos. Who? Damn. He got into the whole Italian mobster situation? Mordecai isn't part of it himself, but he's got good buddies that are a part of that shit. God damn. What sort of trouble? Financial. I heard that an important Lord, um... I heard that an important Leonardo died in his hotel room. What? They've been trying to pressure the manager to pay compensation ever since. Oh, damn. And shit, nigga, hold up. Let me put more of this bitch in my details, nigga. When did that happen? Eh. I'd say just about over a year ago. I still would have been with the police then. Chief must have kept this info right under tight wraps. One of my pals, sisters, mothers, culinary teacher works, okay. <laughs> One of my pals, sisters, mothers, culinary teacher works as the head chef there. She said that there was a waitress who saw the death. What? Do you know which one? Yeah, she's friends with the head chef. Apparently, she sneaks hotel scraps to the wild Pokemon living in the, um, alley outside the hotel. Because that's a helpful description. Holy shit, that was a helpful ass description. I mean, I can hardly say she has blonde hair. Kathy. Kathy had blonde hair. Oh shit, Kathy had blonde hair. Do you know how much of- Oh, so she's seen the murder. Blonde hair? Yeah, Mordecai's testimony. Appreciate you for the testimony, Mordecai. Okay, so. Oh, shit, shit, shit. What do we do? What am I? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Hmm. We gotta go find Kathy and question Kathy because apparently Kathy, she be going 
She she's best friends with the with the kitchen nigga. I thought it was this chick right here. Oh, and Kathy's missing. Okay, that makes sense. What's good, man? Have you seen Kathy by any chance? Shouldn't be letting me pass. Hey, listen, beat you fair and square. You're gonna let me pass regardless. Ma'am, ladies, how you doing? What's going on, beautiful? I'm waiting for the last two tables to be served. Oh, wait, meals to be cooked, if anything. Big chef, what's going on, boss man? Buddy boy. I noticed Kathy headed towards the back. Oh, back of the alley. She's about to go feed somebody. Uh, ma'am, how we doing? I'll bet you're wondering what's in that trash can. Fuck my life. I, was, I, I just wanted to be nice, cordial. What's inside this trash can? Oh, hey. Oh, it's a sketchy ramen. What? Ugh, bitch, who's gonna eat this shit? I'll get this bitch to the goddamn chef himself. Can I take your order? Oh, damn, she... Oh, wait, how'd you... Wait, the Riverview... Oh, we can name it ourselves? The new... <laughs> the Riverview Diner. Oh, damn, I thought we can name it ourselves. My bad. Anyways, he's... Oh, shit, she's getting robbed. Kathy! Oh, I'm pressing W. Uh, nice. Save right over here real quick. Yo, what the fuck is going on over here? Yeah, uh, excuse me real quick, Kathy. What the fuck is that right there? Is that a goddamn Tyranitar with sunglasses on, my nigga? Okay. What's going on inside here? It's a bowl. There's a tiny bit of Moo Moo milk in there. I don't have any on me right now. Okay, nice, nice. Yo, what the fuck is you doing to Kathy? Give me your money. I'm a waitress. Do I look like I make any money? Uh, fair, fair enough. Give me your Pokemon. I work for food. It's unhygienic to have Pokemon around. Are you serious? I know that's a lie. We've been feeding the Pokemon in this alley. They'll come if you call for them. Can you believe this man? What a pit. Hey, random passing civ um, civilian. Don't mind us, actually. Yeah, I don't think so, nigga. The fuck you thought this was? Hey. 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 What? Ah. Ah. Bearded Mafioso Lou. Louis. Oh, shit. Hey. 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 Okay. Break it down now. Break it down now. What we doing in this bitch? Just one shot that bitch with the stick. With I'm not in it for no Netflix. Okay. None of that shit made any sense. But you do. Goodbye, Drew. Okay, that was a horrible joke. My bad. Uh. That that that. Why is my luck so awful today? I mean, you should just give up on becoming a criminal, nigga. Go talk to that. Larvitar, that Tyranitar, wait, wait, um, wait, hold on, you good? Yeah, it was good, bro. I'm fine, thanks. Now's the perfect time to see if I can get her to say something. I'm sure she's thankful. So, uh, you like Pokemon, huh? For a detective, you're really bad at asking, um, you're really bad at asking investigative questions. Listen, I'm specialized in tracking people and evidence, not questioning. These, them niggas, they never taught me no shit about that back then past tense um yeah i used to work for the police force man i still have my partner swine up though she mostly just snaps and freezes my office these days that's about it have you tried placing ice packs around wherever she sleeps it's less messy and she might stop doing that you know what i'll keep that in mind thank thank you for that i'll keep that in mind definitely uh i'm probably gonna go take a breather before i head back in all right do you have any moo moo milk on you by chance? So, Kathy, does the death of a hotel guest count as nothing interesting around these parts? B -b 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 Caught your dumbass. We're not allowed to talk about that. Manager's instructions. And why is that? Hmm, baby girl, tell me. Tell me real quick before I snitch. Whisper. Oh, my fault. <laughs> uh, sorry. My bad, my bad. So, why is that? To protect the hotel's reputation, duh. The investigation was really quiet, you know. I was still working with the police when this happened. And even I didn't hear about it. That's a lot more than just quiet. Oh, shit. Flashback? Oh, no. I was in the manager's office. Dropping off the food he'd ordered. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. Heard some banging. Scuffle from above. Oh, damn. Do, 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 do. And that's when it happened. What happened? Oh, shit. That nigga's. What? I saw the body of a victim fall right past the window. Yikes. Oh, no. Nah, that's crazy as hell. Oh, shit. And now you know. 
That I do. Uh, oh, wow, bitch, I, already, I had already stopped whispering. My bad. Please, just don't let the manager find out that I was the one who told you, okay? Thank you. I need this job. Uh, you know what? You was really rude to me earlier. I can't really make any promises. Nah, I'm not going to tell. Uh, yeah, whatever, bitch. Yo, Kazo, what's good, gangster? I'll see you, nigga. What? Wait, that's the that's the back of his body? Well, looks like this Tyranitar has been rummaging through tra- Oh, looks like this Tyranitar has been rummaging through the trash in the alleyway. Yeah, he got some cool black, nice shades on, my nigga. Hey, she- Oh, okay, so she doesn't have any Moo Moo Milk on by any chance. Yo, y'all got any Moo Moo Milk on y'all by chance? Probably not. Always wash your hands. Flu season. Garbage. Down. Oh, hey. Sketchy fries. <sighs> Damn, we're going to have to use that for some of these mods. I'm not going to lie to y'all. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, shit. What is this? Ah, I forgot to write down the order. Damn, unlucky. I feel like that's not something you should take out on your, uh, you know, guests. Thank you. Uh, what's good, ma'am? Kathy may be grumpy, but she's a hard worker. Or maybe she's grumpy because she's a hard worker. It's not like the manager pays us as much as, anyways. Uh, what the fuck kind of like Jujutsu Kaisen bullshit was she's on? Was she on? Was she's on? Let me see. Oh, let me buy me some. Oh, damn. They got good burger. Oh, this. Oh, I already got a burger and fries, but they both sketch though. Why would I want them? Fuck it. Let me buy two Moo Moo Milks. First time I'm ever going to have money for a Moo Moo Milk. Let me get two McDoubles. And then let me get two medium fries with that. And I, I was going to get an extra Moo Moo Milk to go, but I'm not going to do that. What's good, ma'am? How you doing? I'm staying here while my parents are at a business meeting. Since they're away, I can do what I want. That's one way of putting it. Hmm, I think it's cranberry juice in that glass, though. I would hope the fuck it is. Clar Man, why would you give her cranberry juice inside of this goddamn wine bottle, despite the, um, what the glass may suggest? Oh, wait. So is it cranberry juice, apple juice? Not sure. Oh, shit. Okay, so no. Oh, I know about the thingy. Oh, yeah? Then what's the thingy? Oh, shit. What is the thingy? Oh, the thingy is this. We got to use, uh, let me see. Kathy's testimony, I think. No, no, let me see. Manager's testimony. Uh, the check. No, it's not important. Why the fuck would... He wouldn't care about... He wouldn't want people to go up there. That wouldn't be the thingy. No, no, no. The, that wouldn't even be considered the thingy, nah. The thingy would be something... If it's super secretive, right? Super secret. What was this nigga talking about? The mafia tried to pressure the manager to buy compensation. After no, he wouldn't want to keep that part a secret. Not to the guard. What the fuck? No. Uh, it has to be about this one right over here, because a guy died. Oh, oh. I guess I must let you pass then. Follow me upstairs. Oh, thank you. I guess. Right this way. Damn, you are a little chippy, my nigga. It was good. Oh, it was in this room that the nigga died. Oh, I can't leave you alone at the scene of the crime, so we're buddies now. Feel free to ask me any questions you might have. Hmm. I wish I'd woken up Truffles and taken her to work with me. <laughs> Having her sniff out clues would be handy at a time like this. Damn, facts. Her name is Truffles? Oh, this bitch really is following me around. You couldn't just stay your ass, like stand your ass, like right in front of these stairs right here and let me do my work? Fuck. Oh, okay, okay. So this is the crime scene, right, buddy? Uh, why are you so close to me, my nigga? Because I can't leave you unattended at the crime. Okay. I know that, but why are you so close? To prevent criminal reactions. All right. So, what's going on here? Let's check inside the trash. There's something in the trash over here. Look. Oh, shit. There's a receipt clue. Oh, snap. Yo, do you know anything about this receipt clue right here, my buddy? Stop following me. No can do. All right. Bet. Never mind. Uh, anything right over here? The drinks are still on the table. Seriously, who is in charge of this crime scene? What? Damn, drinks are still on the table and shit? Okay, we got up over here. Ooh, this is where the fucking, like, window... Oh, damn, this is where they threw that bitch off. Did they throw him off or did they use a Pokemon to, like, shoot him off? Who knows? Seems kind of weird that the hotel wouldn't be... Seems kind of weird that the hotel wouldn't board up this window where a guest fell through. Hmm, yeah, that's true, that's true. What about in the bed? Was he with a honey? Gee, just looking at this bed makes me wanna... <laughs> I'm awake! He was only snoring for dramatic... Fuck you, bro. Get away from me. Uh, what, what's, what's this? What's going on? A luggage trolley. Uh, what about this? Flower is nothing. 
What about this right here? Bookcase. I don't think I've ever encountered a bookshelf with a uh, secret level. Maybe one day. Yeah, you should play Pokemon Z. They got plenty of those shits, man. What about this shit right here? This is, without a doubt, the most ugly table I've ever set my eyes on. I stubbed my toe on that table once. It's awful. But I guess that's why none of the other rooms have one. What? None of the other rooms have a table like this? Why is that? Got a feeling I have... Oh, well, oh we've got all the evidence. Oh, you're already done? Yep. Well, it was fun checking out the crime scene together. I guess. you, Even though you made like one crazy ass joke. I should confront the thief now. I know they're in this hotel for a fact. Wow. You got this really determined look on your face, buddy. I did? Yeah, like all the pieces have been put together and shit. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I still... I know I got all the um shits and everything like that, but I still don't know who did it. No, no, no cap as a real detective and anything but i feel like buddy um what's his face mr sylvester is now waking up coming back from retirement and everything like that and i feel like he has to go take a talk with the manager because i feel like i found the i, I found the murderer thanks to detective nigga detective nigga helped me find the murderer if anything and i want to give a big shout out to protect i want to give a big shout out to um protective nigga who's protective nigga detective nigga they have, I think. Well, if you're not certain, just be sure to check over your evidence. Talking to the witnesses again might help refresh your your memory as well. Thanks. I appreciate you. I've been asleep for a while, but I'm back. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so with the amount of evidence that we have, we know that this hotel is lined up with the mafia, right? If they're lined up with the mafia... The ten thousand dollar check shouldn't. No wonder he's probably tripping about. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hmm. I feel like I cracked something. I, I feel like I actually cracked something. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on, <laughs> Mr. Manager. How we doing today, boss man? Ah, detective. Was there something you needed from me? Tell me about the hotel's reputation again. Excuse me. What are you suggesting? Whoa, what's with the... Hold on. Wait, back up. Back up real quick, Mr. Sylvester. Let me talk to this fuck nigga real quick. Hey, what, what's good, Kyle? What, what's, the, what's with the sudden change of, like, attitude, brother? This hotel has a fine reputation. Plenty of tourists visit. And we're also known for many local charities we sponsor. Stating that... Well, you know, first of all, I've gained a lot of evidence. And stating that your hotel isn't nearly as ideally a I think I said that shit right as it appears and with this evidence that I have right over here uh let's see uh give me give me just a minute my my nigga oh come on Sylvester what the fuck is you doing nigga hurry up give me a minute give me a minute I'm just trying to find it fuck shit uh, uh hurry up Sylvester uh, about upon meeting on um, Palmero what uh, um, I'm not sure what you're getting at, detective. Fuck, try again, nigga. This nigga. Sylvester is tweaking right now. Oh, wait. No, talk to that nigga about the goddamn pe nigga that died there. That was a death at the hotel. Let me talk to you. That was a death at the hotel real quick. One of the guests fell out the window. And you didn't mention that shit to me earlier. You was just telling me that a check was stolen. It's hardly a rosy picture. Well, accidents do happen, you know. We can't prevent everything. And that has little to do with the case at hand. Well, I can prove that it is linked, as a matter of fact. Wait, we can? Hold on. Shit. Uh, fuck. Fuck. Uh, how's it? What links? Which one of these shits links to what? To the fucking, like, um, murder and shit. Um, no. None of these. These just talk about the check. Check, check. Oh, there we go. The guess who died was a Leonardo. They're not happy about it and have been pressuring the hotel for money. <laughs> you want to tell me about that, my nigga? Huh. So maybe there was a criminal element involved in what happened. That doesn't mean I stole the check. The fuck I look like? Truly. This is all unrelated to the case, detective. Man, poor work. Poor work. Who even hired your ass, nigga? We at the hotel are far more concerned about the location of the money as opposed to prosecuting the goddamn criminal. 
So that's how you want to play it, huh? Oh, this is this this nigga is the uh, oh okay okay. Well, I know where the money is. Oh shit. Wait, how the fuck? The testimonies are gonna be able to like tell us where the money is? Oh wait, oh, oh, we picked up the clues. Oh okay okay. Receipt clue. A receipt from a, for an indestructible safe. Hmm. An ugly table from the guest aura. Wait, what? No, it, it gotta be this. Oh, wait, what the fuck? It's not that? The receipt is not, like, proof of where the money is? Okay. It's, it talks about a safe. I, I thought it would be the case, but maybe the table clue? That ugly table in the guest room isn't a real table. It's a safe. What? Impossible. You switched around the safes, and I have the ultimate proof to show it. Oh, what? So wait, who was the nigga that he threw off the, um, that he got killed then? Okay, so the receipt is that clue, definitely. If we track the purchase of the other safe with this receipt right here, I'm certain it'll be traced back to you, Mr. Manager. Oh, someone's a little quiet. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, what the? This nigga, he, we, we caught him. Wait, he's at. Hey. 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 Oh, he gonna send up the Sneasel. Really? Oh, I'm cooked. Hey. 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 All right, chill out. He got three months. They all use it. They all beat me the fuck up. Hold up. I'm cooked. Not really, though, but because I got the Moo Moo milk right over here. And I got a cheeseburger. Mmm, cheeseburger. There we go. Nice. Good old cheeseburger. And then hit that bitch with a drill pack. Boom. Good drill pack. Nice. Perfect flow on that drill pack. And then ice beam his ass. Double team. Really? That's kind of disrespectful. But we're going to drill pack you just for using that move. Bada bing, bada boom. Way to out you out, nigga. I confess. You better confess. Goofy wasting my damn time like that. There's no point in hiding it any longer. I needed the money to pay off those mobsters. They were furious that one of their own had died in the hotel, but it wasn't my fault, completely. And they kept coming back over and over, demanding more and more each time. I needed that money. I couldn't afford to give them any more of my own. So I had to come up with like, oh, well, you know, I'm, so I bought a second safe. Then I moved the one with the check to the crime scene. The police had, had um the police had told us to seal the crime scene and never use the room. It's been out of commission for a year now. It was also why I hired you, detective. Unlike the police, you wouldn't have had the legal auth you wouldn't have the legal authority to check the room for a clues. At least if that lazy Kathy hadn't told you about it. Wait. If she hadn't so there was nothing else I could do. I had to take the money. Damn, he, she, Kathy wasn't supposed to find out. Welcome, I'm the daycare man. Who the fuck? Welcome, I'm the daycare man. I can... Ah, it's you. Yes, I... Uh, I noticed the help wanted sign. Oh, You're not working at the hotel anymore? <gasps> what? Oh, shit. So this is past? My boss's last act as manager was to fire me for speaking about the death. Really? Damn, I see. I can't really blame that detective. He was doing his job. Oh uh, yeah, you know, I had to I, I had to tell him about it, man. I'm sorry, Kathy. That he was. So is there an application or something? No, no, nothing, nothing like that is. No, no, nothing as formal as that. I just need someone to blah, blah, blah. I just need someone to help care for the Pokemon now that I'm not as mobile. My daughter used to help me, but she isn't able to anymore. Oh, she's raising a family of her own now. <laughs> but enough chit chat. If you have the time now, I can show you the ropes. Oh, that's beautiful. She loves Pokemon and shit like that. She gets to work as a in the daycare, Pokemon daycare. Damn, so that was case one, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed the first episode of Pokemon Ash and Forest. Well, Ash and Frost. There's nothing like nothing. You feel me? 
sitting at this desk waiting for a new call and ending this beautiful episode off so that way you guys can enjoy the rest of your day because I, don't, I really don't know how long this video would be i didn't expect this case to, to take that long but if you did enjoy it please leave a like down below what was your favorite thing about this case did, did it catch you off guard that the manager was the freaking like um, um was the nigga the suspect the entire time the criminal that, that was crazy as shit to me i was not expecting that i thought it was gonna be like um mordecai of all people but if anything uh we got that down packed so with that being said ladies and gentlemen today ladies and gentlemen this was pokemon ash and forest if you enjoyed please leave a like down below and i will if you enjoyed, please leave a like down below because I would much appreciate it. And on top of that too, it leads me straight into that whole YouTube algorithm thing and everything like that. So let me see. So this game currently has about like 20 cases and it's not done yet. I believe the dev wants to go up to about like 24 cases and then end the game. So we're just going to do up to like 20 cases. It's probably going to be a good ass series. I, I'll probably do like a case each episode because these, these shits, they take long, bro. Trust that. Let me know what y'all thought. If y'all want to keep fucking with it, I'll keep making videos like this. Uh, if anything, I will catch y'all in the next video or the next case. <laughs> Peace, my detectives.